So, <laughs> I'm living my best life. <laughs> I went to CVS. There's a CVS across the street. So I got some trail mix. Got some sugar-free Arizonas, half and half. You can't find these in Canada anywhere. Amazing. Just some water. Mm. Barnum's Animal Crackers. You can get these in Canada, I just love them. Big Red. And then some Paki. Paki? Paqui nacho cheese especial. <laughs> I'm just like in the robe. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it's it just seems like overdone. So now I'm just gonna relax, plug my phone in, and get some sleep because tomorrow I'm gonna get up bright and early and go explore. See you guys tomorrow, my first full day in LA. In my room and my slippers, you know, living my best life. I've made some of the hotel coffee, which is surprisingly not horrible. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not horrible. So that's nice. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup. Do my makeup, get dressed, and go to toast. Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. I know a place where the grass is really green. I had the camera was really awful I realize and it's actually like still pretty awful you know what let's go stand in front of the window it's so beautiful outside oh. okay um good enough I don't know fine outfit ready to go I'm wearing this Western shirt which is my all-time favorite shirt. Um, you know, the mom jeans. Adorable. <laughs> and then this little coach bag and my fave midnight blue plastic looking loafers from the bay. And yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go get some toast. quiet place to vlog. I'm just shopping at the Grove and I got a really cute romper for tonight and now I'm on the hunt for some inexpensive shoes to go with it because I don't want to spend like $600 on a pair of Steve Madden's like I was just about to. <laughs> I had to like talk myself out of Nordstrom so anyway I'll talk to you guys when I'm at the shoe place. Hey guys I just got back to my hotel room I just finished a very full day of shopping. I went back and forth between the Grove and this Beverly Center like two times because I liked something and then I wanted to return it. <sighs> anyway, I'll show you what I got. Okay, first of all, not a part of the outfit. I got these yellow sunglasses that I was wearing and then I got these cute little round sunglasses. Okay, now I'll show you all of this on tonight, but I really wanted a dress that tied in the center, like around the waist. And originally I had gotten, I probably showed you in the video, a red romper from Topshop, which was really cute. It was lace and it was beautiful, but I think it was just 
um, like it was really low cut, like almost almost cut to the belly button, which is cool, but I was just, I like tried it on again and I was like, you know what? <laughs> if I have a nip slip, I am going to be mortified. So I just don't wanna have to like worry about it. I wanted something comfortable and cute. Um, and I just knew that all night I would be like readjusting myself, which is like the last thing that I wanna do. So I got this black dress, it's velvet. This is from H and no, from Forever 21. It's like super simple, just a black velvet tie up. And it's got like t-shirt sleeves. Um, so I got that and I figured it would be more easy to accessorize. And then I just got some tights that I might wear with it depending. It's like super hot outside right now, so I might not, but we'll see. And then I got this adorable choker that just has like a moon on it which I'll definitely wear like a lot. I love that. But I am going to a horror movie screening. This is um, from H&M, both of these. I'm going to Chucky 7. I was the director's assistant on that movie. And um, I'm going with Don Mancini, who's the creator and director of Chucky, and my very, very dear friend. And so I feel like this might be appropriate for tonight if I have the guts to wear it which I don't think I will but we'll see and then I got something else this is actually not for me this is for Nick <laughs> it's a mesh long sleeve from Zara I don't think he'd wear this every day but I think for stage outfits he would definitely wear this so I got an extra large um, you know, it's rock and roll. He can wear mesh. That's fine. We don't have to confine to gender norms. Men can wear mesh. So I'm probably gonna shower and then redo my makeup. Probably similar look, maybe a bit darker with the eyes. I don't know, I have no makeup skills, so like better safe than sorry. Talk to you guys after I'm dressed and everything and maybe show you what I look like. Bye. Okay guys, I'm all freshly showered. Um, so I'm gonna start getting ready for the premiere. It's not the premiere, it's just a screening. Get a hold of yourself, Echo. Um, the lighting in here is so atrocious. I can't, I don't look this bad. Um, yeah, I do, I do. Uh, but the lighting in here doesn't do me any favors. So I'm not gonna film my makeup again because I'm pretty much gonna do the exact same thing. Um, and then for my hair, I'm gonna finish blow drying it so it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to curl it. So I'll show you that and then I'll show you my outfit. Okay, the outfit is complete. Um, I ended up, I bought a pair of shoes to go with this, but they were just black flats. And honestly, I felt like I was a hostess at a restaurant wearing my blacks, you know? So I was like, never mind. So, this dress from Forever 21, it's very simple. Just, oh my God, let me take this off. Just black, ties up, um, ties at the waist, which I like, kind of low cut, but not as low cut as the romper that I bought. Um, I've got this new little choker kind of choker thing. It's a little moon, which is cute. I'm not gonna be wearing these glasses. So, hopefully, I don't know how to do makeup for fancy stuff. I just did what I did today. I curled my hair. Um, and then yeah, my, like these shoes don't go, but I'm gonna do that hipster thing where I make things overly casual by my footwear. You know that thing that hipsters do where they'll look fancy, but then they'll be wearing like Nike runners. I'm doing that with these plastic looking loafers. So got my little coach bag which matches the red lipstick. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm ready to go. So I will see you guys later. I probably am gonna be honest with you. I'm nervous about going to this thing. I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna meet people and enjoy my time. So I will probably see you after. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the next clip. If you've got the winning ticket, just stand up and somebody will bring it to you.
guys, I just got back to my hotel room. Ugh. I'm tired, but I just feel like I'm buzzing from, oh, my light doesn't work. I'm just like buzzing from everything. It was such a good night. It was so much fun. The movie was amazing and it's Chucky 7, Cult of Chucky, and it was just, it was phenomenal. It was so good and it was so nice to be there with Dawn and it was just, it was such a good night. And then I went to the rocks, or no, the rainbow after. Um, the rainbow is a really iconic bar. Along Sunset Strip, there's a lot, like the Viper Room, the Roxy, the Rainbow, um, the, I'm forgetting, anyway, I'm drunk, um, I'm forgetting, but there's lots of iconic bars, and so I was just like, I need to go to the Rainbow, because Lemmy, the lead singer of Motorhead, obviously, um, used to hang out there and play this like VLT and they still have his chair there so I went and I like saw his chair and then I went upstairs and they were doing this like jam session and like anyone could go up and sing I'm oily you anyway so it was so much fun just going there and listening to people play music and it's like there's just it's such a piece of history going to a place like that if if that kind of music means something to you and it was just really cool being there. Cool going on my own, you know, just by myself. And like, I didn't need to like have anybody with me. We went to like an after party after the premiere and that was fun. Um, but that wrapped up at like 11.45 ish, 11.30. So then I was like, we're already, <sighs> we're already on the Sunset Strip. I'm going to the Rainbow Room. And so I did, and it was really good. Um, so I just got some Uber Eats, I got some pizza, and hopefully that'll be good. And then I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to the beach with my friend Christy, who worked on Chucky with me and Channel Zero, um, the TV show that I worked on and the movie that I worked on. She was she did makeup on both of them, and she's in town at the same time as me which is crazy so tomorrow we're going to venice beach and we're gonna enjoy the sunshine it's gonna be hot and beautiful she suggested it and i wanted to go so i was like ah perfect so um yeah really looking forward to that which is kind of like the perfect way to spend my last day and then i'm going out for dinner with dawn and then i leave saturday which is really sad like i knew this would go by so fast and it's like oh my gosh i thought i lost my tiffany's necklace <sighs> it's gone by like faster than i could have imagined but anyways my food's gonna be here soon i want to get out of this dress and wash my face and i will see you guys tomorrow and at the beach hey guys it is a new day my last full day here and i'm going to venice beach <laughs>